going to have the children's story. So if you will come forward, we'll tell you a story.
you had to actually break the bank. Sound familiar, people? Break the bank, right? Well, later on, they, they came up with a fancy system where you didn't have to break the bank. But, you know, in Isaiah 64, 8, it says, But now, O Lord, you are our Father, and we are the clay, and you are the potter, and we are the work of your hand. Now, the Apostle Paul continues to expand on this idea when he describes the message of the Gospel as being spread by simple people. He said, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellence of the potter may be of God and not of us. In other words, the precious treasure inside is more valuable than the container. So the piggy bank is not as important as the coins it holds. So, you know, one of these days, this earthen vessel, me, will die, and we will no longer be anything more than just earth. And our soul, which belongs to God, will be there waiting for his return. So, I look forward to a new heavenly body that is immortal. And when it's given to us, we'll be able to live forever with our Lord Jesus and his kingdom. Amen. Amen. Let's have a word of prayer. Our precious Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for these beautiful children. And we ask, Lord, that you may lead them and guide them in growing up to reflect the character of you, Lord. Let them know that you're with them always, whatever they go, whatever they do. They only have to ask. And Lord, may we pray mightily and let him hear us when we communicate with him. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.